Todd Dunn here. Today I'm aboard my 1936 powerboat Tortuga and I'm going to be talking about reframing the hull. I'll be doing a couple of videos on this topic. In my last video on rebuilding the keel I mentioned that I had to cut the frame ends off in order to get the piece of the keel out that I removed. Today I'm going to be talking about how I went about putting those frames back in. In a wooden boat, normal construction is to have a laid deck on deck beams and at the outer edge of the deck there are boards called covering boards that cover up the ends of the frames. In that sort of construction, you can simply remove the covering boards, steam up a frame, and slide it down into the hull. If you have a couple planks off, you can clamp it up against an existing frame and then screw it to the planks. And it's very quick. However, before I bought Tortuga, the deck had been rebuilt with a marine plywood deck that extended all the way out to the shear and, and also covered up the ends of the frames. So in order to get out the frames, I would have had to cut into the fiberglass covered plywood deck, which basically would have wrecked the deck and made it a relatively complex repair to get it back to its structural integrity and make it waterproof. So I didn't want to do that if I didn't have to. Consequently, to work on these frames that landed on the keel, I had one of two choices. I could work from outside the boat by removing planking so that I could cut away the old wood then scarf in a new frame. But I would have had to remove essentially all the planking up to the point where I cut my scarf into the existing frame. That would greatly interfere with the structural integrity of the hull, which I did not want to do. The alternative was to work from inside the boat. Doing that meant that I would have to rip out the interior so that I would have access to the frames. Even though that's not a very desirable course of action, that's what I decided to do. So this video is going to show you the procedure of building new frame ends and then laminating them into the existing frames to produce a continuous piece of good wood from the shear right down to the keel. So let's get going and look at some pictures. Unfortunately, I don't have any pictures of the tear apart process. So what I'm going to be doing is showing you the procedure of building new frame ends that are laminated to patterns to fit into the hull and replicate what I took out. Then I will show you the result of the new frame ends in the boat. This picture shows the framing jig that I built. It consists of three 2x10s with 2x4s on the back to hold them together. Then I took the frames that I removed, laid them on the framing jig, drew a line of the shape of the frame, and then bolted blocks of wood to the framing jig along that line. For that, I cut out strips of oak and glued them up and clamped them to the framing jig. So we're going to see that procedure step by step. This shot shows a pile of strips of oak ready to be laminated to make up a frame. You can see the framing jig with its blocks that I'm going to be clamping to behind it where the blocks have been set up to make the shape of the frame. I'm also using five laminations which will minimize spring back after I take the laminated frame off of the jig. The first step in laminating up a frame is to wet out both sides of each of the strips of oak with epoxy. In this case I use unthickened West System epoxy and I simply paint it on both sides of each strip with a foam paintbrush. After the strips had been wetted out with unthickened epoxy, I went back over and coated one side of each strip with West System epoxy thickened to basically a peanut butter consistency with 403 microfibers. This mixture is what will actually bond the individual oak slats into frames. Here we can see the assembly of a stack of strips into the package that will be laminated into the frame. This is a bundle of oak strips that have been glued up and clamped onto the frame jig. There's wax paper underneath the new frame and between the frame and the clamping blocks to keep the uh, epoxied strips of oak from sticking to the frame jig. Here I've removed a finished 
frame from the jig and you can see the next frame clamped up onto the same jig. The reason for that is because I'm replacing frames on both sides of the keel I wanted them to be symmetrical, i.e. the same on both sides of the keel. This is a pair of frames ready for the next step. I should note that I made the oak strips that I laminated the frames from a little bit wider than they needed to be because I knew there would be some imperfections in the layup so I intended from the beginning to use my surface plane to grind off imperfections to get nice square frames. So at this point the two frames are ready to be fed through the planer to get them down to the correct width. Here are the two frames after they've been through the planer. That's really cleaned them up and they're ready for the next step, which is painting the frames. I painted all the frames that I laminated with three coats of Interlux bilge coat before I started getting them ready to install into the boat. Tartuga's construction is a little different from most wooden boats in that the first six frames landed on the keel. There were no pockets cut into the keel for the frame ends, probably because the keel was only four inches thick and cutting in a pocket for a frame would, would have left only about an inch of wood between the butts of the frames, which wouldn't be very strong. So the individual frames forward actually landed on the keel and were simply screwed to the key, directly to the keel. However, after frame number six, the frames were completely different. They no longer landed on the side of the keel. The frames were actually continuous from one shear to the other and in the original construction they were spiked to the top of the keel with wrought iron spikes. So in order to do my replacement I was would only have to make one new piece for frame six aft. This shows the first of those pieces being laminated. You can see this is a much bigger frame that goes all the way across the bottom of the boat and will be scarfed into the existing upper parts of the frames on each side of the boat and then lag bolted to the keel with bronze lag bolts. Here's the first frame end installed in the boat. You can see where I remove fasteners going up to get the old wood out and then put the new frame end in. It's attached to the keel simply with a screw but in this case because I didn't really trust the screw to hold it that well I also glued it on with 3M5200. The top of the frame piece is scarfed into the old frame using a standard 7 to 1 scarf set in epoxy and also screwed through the scarf. Here's the finished product with all of the frames from the bow back to the bulkhead at the aft end of what had been the head replaced from just above the waterline down to the keel. All the frames are new laminated frames which will be stronger than the old steam bent frames. So I hope you uh, appreciated this little presentation of how I went about laminating new oak frames and then show you the, pro the finished product. The next video will show progressive reframing of the main cabin in the boat. Remember I've already done the engine room so that will take me back to the engine room from the head and then we'll get on with rebuilding the interior. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video and will subscribe to my channel to get notifications when my next video in this series comes out.